Morning folks. Day soap is brought to us from Katie's Bubbles. And the name of this one here is Cool and Fresh. It's peppermint, spearmint, eucalyptus, and I think camphor was all the listing there below. And it's on label. Plus one of the things, if it matters to some folks, it also has a label there on the side. So if you're stacking your soaps on top of each other in the uh, closet or a cabinet or where the case might be showing, uh, at least you'll be able to see what the name of the, uh, the soap is. Just one of those things that might matter to some folks. Um, I'm going to follow the shave up with uh, Sterling's Eucalyptus Mint. It pairs up pretty good with it. I uh, already put a hot towel to the face this morning and still using the Parasso pre-shave. This one here is the, I think it's green tea and oatmeal or something like that. It's It does have a scent to it, but more or less unscented, if you will. <coughs> Excuse me. Still trying to get that frog out of there. <laughs> still sporting the Crown King Allen Block, complete with rubber band this morning. And... Uh, Got so far, the wife hasn't asked for the uh, Quinn's uh, Witch Hazel. I think she probably will here pretty soon, but it, it's coming. I've got uh, the uh, shaving cream here whipped up, clean the brush off a little bit, uh, with a Samogue. Uh, get it turned around here. It's a board brush. Been sporting this model. It's a 1470, if I remember right. You'd think I'd remember by now. <laughs> I've got it whipped up here in the bowl. Uh, it's not quite drippy by any means, but it is on the wet side, and it seems to handle the water pretty well. The last shave I had with Dusk, uh, that's the Luxury Cream Soap, and this one here is a Luxury Shaving Soap. There is a difference in between the two. Haven't been able to quite put my finger on it, but I do, did notice that it seems to lather differently. Also, uh, before I forget, off camera I'll be using the Shave and Sailor Beard Oil. Set this back over here off to the side so I don't knock it off the counter. And I'm still going to be sporting today my Ralph Aust 6 8 Boy, this is a really nice shaver. This came, by the way, of Maggard's. And uh, really happy with this shaver. It, uh, the edge on it is really nice. I'm going to go ahead and get started here. Uh, started out my morning uh, listening or watching, I should say. Uh, so a couple of videos, Matt 1989 and uh, DC Shaves. Uh, the it was both the the videos were really nice. Good start for the morning. Uh, Matt he was uh, doing his 10 minute shave, uh, which he did really well. I mean it it didn't look rushed like you know you think it might be, and. Uh, and then uh, DC was talking about Jimmy from uh, New York and being in New York last year. And it was, you know, just one of those uh, kind of mornings where I picked out a couple of videos. One of them I picked out the night before and I uh, decided it was time to go to bed. <laughs> but I decided to watch it this morning before I got started. And I noticed Mark from Friendship Shaping, Shaving looks like he's got a video out. Um, Definitely going to be watching that one, see how he's doing. I know for some folks, as it goes for the recovery from uh, the COVID virus, it's uh, not everybody recovers the same way. And uh, of course, it, the kind of virus that it is, it does affect the lungs. And uh, my wife, being an RN, she you know gets bits and pieces, you know, throughout the grapevine, if you will that in some cases the uh, lungs or the capacity has been reduced roughly around the 30 percent so even if you do recover it's not necessarily a, a, a full recovery if you will due to the, the way I view it the, the reduction in lung capacity is yeah that's that's something you got to live with with the rest of your life and that can't be too much fun also I've already dropped the uh, uh, Straight razor here, we'll go again and start. And speaking of straps, I finally ordered one. One I would consider a quality. What I have right now is inexpensive that I've been using. 
uh, I do have one that uh, Frank sent me that helps out a lot. But uh, as it goes for one, I guess you might say it's a bit longer. In other words, I've learned on some in, the, in my first one. You can tell I was learning. <laughs> There's some spots on there where you can tell my, my skills were lacking. But uh, still usable. It's just you can tell just little marks here and there. Very smooth shaving. I should have mentioned, I now don't think I did, over here off to the side, I've got a damp towel that I'm wiping off the uh, some of the uh, shaving cream. It helps keep my sink clean for the rinse and uh, uh, just something that I, I use from time to time with a shave head even to help keep my sink clean when it comes time for the rinse. If you couldn't tell, there's plenty of slickness with this uh, this soap. This is uh, this is a nice soap. Uh, works rather well with a straight razor, which to me that's the uh, straight razor shave web. If it work with that, that it definitely work with a single edge or a DE. The, uh, one of the things that I had mentioned before when it comes about a blade this length as being used to or accustomed to manipulating the uh, what part of the blade you're going to be using because there's going to be times you're not going to use the whole blade and getting used to using that takes a little bit of, I guess you might say, practice. Determine what you're comfortable with and how you want to do it. Stretching is also going to be important, and it will vary from person to person on how much stretching will need to be done. I've been, been really enjoying <laughs> shaving with this shaver, as well as I've been um, testing out some of my older gold dollars that I've got uh, checking out where their edge is at because it's been a while since I used them this this shaver is such night and day <laughs> to the edge that I was using on the uh, Sologen that, that's the only thing that was labeled on that particular uh, shaver boy it's a it's a lot different that's for sure this drop that I've got ordered is um, one uh, one part of its leather and the other part of it is a fire hose flax linen I think is the way it's referred to and I've had my eye on on these uh, straps for probably about two years. It's been a good long moment I've been looking at them. Uh, Keith Johnson, Etsy, yeah, name uh, on the account, uh, the store is uh, Tomo Nagura. Uh, Stevens Davison, he knows who I'm talking about. Uh, I've watched some of Keith's videos and it's really helped me uh, helped me out quite a bit trying to wrap my mind around the uh, I guess you might say all things uh, straight razor shaving when it comes to you know stropping the the honing and you know just trying to get my mind around all that's being said and get it in my mind on how it should be done or could be done just depends on how you want to look at it everybody's got their own technique you know a little twist or spin on it stones and so on and so forth and uh, what works best for them. And it is one of those uh, your mileage may vary type things. Same thing with straps. 
some folks were, you know, prefer one kind as opposed to another, what kind of leather it is, how it's being treated, so on and so forth. I think that's probably the reason why it took me so long to just go ahead and decide which one I want to go with, at least a quote unquote a start, in that uh, uh, there's a difference of opinion, what fits me, what I think is going to fit me, what am I looking for, and of course you got to know what you're looking for, and in the beginning I had no clue, and I'm still learning, trying to figure out what I do like. For instance, the draw, some are fast draws, or some you can feel more of a, uh, takes more effort to get the straight razor across the strop, so on and so forth. I want to say drag, but in other words, there's more of a pull to it, I guess you might say. Anyhow, just learning all that sort of thing, trying to wrap my mind around it, and what's the difference in between the fast and one that maybe is not quite as fast, and what does that do for the edge, and there's so much to learn just on the stropping alone, much less on <laughs> on the stones <laughs> but anyway it's it's a definitely a challenge something I enjoy There's one thing I should say that's about, I guess you might say this hobby, especially in the way of YouTube, is uh, finding a camera that works well with the lighting in the bathroom. DC Shea was talking about that, and you know, it is a challenge. Um, I've got four light bulbs up here that are mounted on the wall, and I got one over here in the ceiling. And um, for the most part, there's plenty of lighting in the bathroom, but how the camera reacts to all this lighting, it's been quite of a challenge. Uh, I've tried uh, cell phones. Uh, this is my second uh, uh, video camera, camcorder, if you will. This one here is a, you know, they don't really make, you know, like Canon doesn't make new ones. And then if they do, they're really expensive. In other words, upwards of 500 up to 1000 or so dollars. And so for me, this has been a uh, quite a challenge trying to find a self, I mean, a, a video camera that will work with the lighting I have here. Thinking I'm going to start leaving this you know, with towels and whatnot up here. I think that the camera is having not only an issue with the lighting, but the color of the paint back here. And I'm thinking that this setup I've got right here with the settings on the uh, video camera is probably going to be about as good as it gets. There's one thing I do like this about this one here. It's a Canon camcorder. Uh, it does have a setting for the uh, for the volume so in other words i can get the volume out there where it's loud and clear and because for the most part i'm a, i don't talk real loud to begin with so i need something that had a volume setting in there to help pick up my voice and you know put it out there where it's not so low really do enjoy this this is quite a challenge Edge is still working out pretty good. I didn't roll the edge dropping. That's been my problem in the past. Seems like I have been getting better at it, even though I don't straight shave that often. But I think for, oh, maybe for the next four weeks or so, I'm gonna to try to do more shaving with a, with a straight razor. I think that's gonna wrap it up right there. I usually just do a two pass shave with a shave bit or a straight razor, depending on which one I'm using either way. I usually just do a two pass and on occasion, 
I may feel the need to, uh, I've got a strip of hair that's right through here. From time to time, I may feel like I need to uh, touch up a bit. And believe it or not, if I use a, uh, a single edge or a double edge, whatever I happen to decide to be using, it's just a couple of quick strokes right through there. If you watch any Steven Davidson's uh, videos when he straight raised their shape and he uses a DE on the upper lip, and if that's what works best for you, then it's your shave. You you need to do it the way that works best for you. And on the upper lip, you know, depending on your size of the blade you're using, I could see that, for instance, a 6 8 or a 7 8 would be, be kind of tough to get on the upper lip. <clears throat> Some people can do it. I don't know that I would trust myself with it. If anything, I might opt for a smaller blade to try to get up underneath the nose. Um, but... I, I know one of the reasons why I enjoy my facial hair is because I remember those days gone by with cartridges. This area right here, usually you know, weepers, bleeding, it's just a, it's a really tough area. Not that a, I had a clue about shaving back then. A lot more so now, but even then it's still, how can you say, scarred for life, if you will. <laughs> those memories are still very well vivid in my mind. And, uh, just to yeah go back to shaving that area no <laughs> not interested <laughs> there was some pretty painful shaves back then my wife and i uh just here recently we were looking at some pictures and uh we found some um probably thinking it was be when i was in the national guard so between 91 and 95 where I didn't have any facial hair <laughs> and I actually had a little bit of hair in the head <laughs> so it was kind of kind of fun you know looking through the old pictures and and uh, yeah we actually found one where I didn't have any facial hair because most everything I've got that we've got you know has me with facial hair what few pictures there is of me because typically you know how it works is I'm the one taking the picture, so therefore I'm not in them. And if this is a, one of the first times you've seen a video with this particular witch hazel, it is rose scented, and it is rose scented. I mean, I can smell it. Now, how long does it stick around? I don't think it sticks around that long. So, uh, does it interfere with the aftershave? I don't think so. It's not that strong. It's just there. You notice it, but it's not... At least with my nose, it's not in your face. I'm going to stick around for the next few hours. I don't feel like it's going to be quite like that, especially with an aftershave on top of it. And this aftershave is definitely going to cover up this uh, this uh, witch hazel because I've been using this past few days. And this uh, this setup is uh, oh I should say yes, the scent on this it's there. It's not overpowering. It's not in your face, but it's enough to let you know that it's there. And but this one here, as you can tell, it says glacial. Yes, it's definitely going to let you know that it's there. Uh, in other words, I can put it, if you get it very close for me, right about here with the aftershave, and my eyes start to want to shut. <laughs> it, it's, it's letting you know that it's picking it up. The, uh, the, the, the eucalyptus is definitely present. I enjoy this kind of aftershave. Um, it works well for me, especially when we get to the warmer months, something that's cooling on the face. I do enjoy that. And my wife actually likes eucalyptus, so uh, it works well. She's happy. <laughs> there are some of my aftershaves she, she's not too happy about. I'm trying to remember who it was. I was watching a video and uh, <laughs> it might have been Shave and Butcher where he could wear a particular aftershave because his wife wouldn't sit next to him. <laughs> Can't remember for sure who it was, but I thought that was kind of funny. Reminds me of my wife when I come out of the bathroom with something on and she'll make a comment about it. And you can tell by the facial expression she's not too keen on that particular scent. Boy, this it's cooling. You can feel it working. Feels nice. I really like it. Hope everybody's doing well. Really need to stay safe. I know it's a tough time for me and my family. We're enjoying it. We're, uh, we're probably maybe one of the odd ones out that 
staying at home together is what we do anyway. So <laughs> this is just another day. It's just a little bit harder when we're wanting to go to catch a movie, a theater, and there's, of course, right now there's nothing much going on. So anyway, stay safe and smooth shaves to you.